Greetings, my name is David Khalil, Vice President General Manager of Learjet. I'd like to welcome you back to Learjet here in Wichita, Kansas. It's a great opportunity we have to update you today on the Learjet 85 program. And staying true to our commitment of constant communication about the program, I'd like to welcome today Larry Timish, our Director of Program for Learjet 85. And so Larry, today, can you give some brief updates on how you think the program is going overall and some of the uh, key milestones we've accomplished since last time we spoke with our customers? Sure, David. The program's executing in many areas. Uh, we've completed our second proof of concept article. This article uses the actual material we will be fabricating the aircraft in, so it's a major milestone for us. System design and installation here at Wichita is going very well. That design is progressing through our joint definition phase. Uh, icing tunnel testing has started. We'll talk a little bit more about the details in our icing tunnels. Pretty interesting part of the program, really optimizing the design sure. of the aircraft. Supplier selection is almost complete. We have over 40 suppliers that uh, we bring uh, on site every every six months and we communicate with them with, in a webcast every three months. So, so we're always touching uh, base with our suppliers, so that's going very well. Uh, we've, we've also leveraged the C-Series wing technology over the last three months. We're looking at the process they use for composite technology, integrating that into the Learjet 85 and having a common uh, technology platform. Uh, Mexico is up and running now. We're actually fabricating parts at our El Marquez site. Uh, we're doing, uh, although they're not aircraft components, we're doing uh, composite panels. We're doing an HSTA, a horizontal stabilizer proof of concept article, similar to the uh, fuselage. And uh, we're starting our plant construction for our 200,000 foot uh, plant that will be uh, producing aircraft in May. So Larry, can you give us an example of how some of the uh, testing and feedback from our customers is actually influencing the design of the aircraft? Absolutely. Uh, several of the uh, key design changes over the last three months that are interesting is, uh, is our windshield. We've gone through uh, many iterations, actually eight different configurations of a side post. Going from a two-piece to a four-piece windshield actually improves the uh, reliability of the windshield. It lowers the, uh, the surface area of the windshield, makes it more maintainable and reliable in service. Uh, we brought a pilot focus group in to make sure that we had positioned the side post in the most ergonomic uh, location very well received and uh, overall I think it adds a lot of reliability to the product. Also we've started our icing tunnel testing and one of the uh, interesting things you'll see in the picture here is just little things that influence the design but really have a big impact on aircraft performance is is ramping the elevator horn to make sure that the icing occurs on the leading edge or just after the leading edge and not in the control area where you could have a possible jam. So very small detail, a lot of icing testing to confirm the design but this is where we're really evolving the design and creating the right product. So Larry, we've been doing a lot of work with the site expansion planning here in Wichita and also down in Mexico, and we had a major media event here recently where we had a chance to take some of the uh, major media members down to Mexico to show them what we do down there. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. The, uh, the media event, I think, was a really good opportunity for Wichita and Mexico because we did bring the media here to Wichita to see all the transformation that we've done at this site, really implementing the uh, lean technologies here in terms of production. Uh, getting ready, Wichita is getting ready for final assembly, so they are the customer to Mexico where the composite fuse and wing will arrive that we final assemble and fly the aircraft. So, so Wichita getting ready for that activity. Mexico's already started with over 500 employees being employed there next year. Uh, at the new facility that will, as we mentioned, will open in May. So a lot of activity in Mexico right now, it's very exciting. It was very good to take the media down there to show them the quality of products that uh, Mexico builds today for Bombardier and also how they are getting ready for lean production for the Learjet 85. Larry, I think it's also interesting for our customers to know that the Bombardier facility in Mexico is uh, AS9100 certified and is leading with the most uh, improved health and safety among many of the Bombardier facilities. So it is truly a world-class facility. Larry, the Larry 5 mock-up has been a great uh, tool and opportunity for our customers to see how the, how the design is evolving. It's also been on a world tour. Can you talk a little bit about some of the feedback we've gotten and some of the changes? The, uh, the, the uh, mock-up was debuted at MBAA last year in 2008. Since then, it has been on a worldwide tour, so it hasn't rested long. It's, it's the only thing that's out there today that the people can touch and feel and really understand the product. So it's a very good marketing tool, but it's also a very good design development tool. So a lot of the inputs from the customers we are reflecting in the mock-up. So after MBAA last year, we took it to Far Farmborough for a private showing, then on to eBase and Paris, and then down to Brazil for LawBase. So you will see a lot of changes in the mock-up. It'll be very exciting to go through it. If you start with the uh, cockpit, we've, we've changed the cockpit uh, very extensively. We've added the hand tiller. We've moved the uh, electronic flight bag location, completely redone the sidewalls. Uh, you'll see some color changes in there and a few little uh, what I would call switchology and, and logic changes to be ergonomically correct for the pilot. It is now 99% accurate to the production configuration. 
the moving into the cabin, we've made some changes in the galley. We've uh, brought some of the feedbacks in on uh, doors for the microwave and, and the overall functionality of the mock-up as well as the laboratory. Moving things around based on inputs, we got it right, I would say 90%, but it's that final tweak to make sure that it really represents what the customer's wanting. Uh, a little bit of uh, new fabric in the, in the aircraft, um, lightening up the color a little bit, showing it still in the pillar, color tones, but just showing another example of how it can look. An exciting piece in the cabin that you'll notice is a, is a three-place divan. We'll have a three-place divan in there. Uh, very, very nice design. It's uh, integrated with the CMS system, and it will give, give us an opportunity to get some good customer feedback on those aspects of the design so we can go forward confidently that we're developing the product for the customer. Larry, thank you. Great update and very exciting. Can you talk a little bit about what's next? Sure. The, uh, the Mexico facility is really going to transform over the next few months. So getting the building going, El Marquez is already building parts, but they're standardizing the process. They're uh, calibrating and validating the tools so that can all transfer into the new production facility uh, with the new employees there. So that'll be very exciting when we actually start seeing aircraft parts coming off the line. Uh, and here in Wichita, Montreal, also from the design perspective, uh, getting through our joint definition phase, which is really getting all the suppliers to work the interface, the conceptual design of the aircraft, and then we prepare for the detail design, we'll then go back and start designing the detail components of the aircraft. So that's a major transition in, in the product, and that's why the customer inputs are so important now. So we're really starting to get into the next phase of the program where we're really pinning down the design, we're getting ready for flight test, and production is starting up. Really like to thank you for the opportunity to update you on the Liberty 5 program. Uh, I'd also like to recognize uh, the Learjet team for the progress they've made in the AIN and Pro Pilot surveys. It's because of your feedback that we're able to take that information and uh, continue to try to get better to serve you not only on the current aircraft but on the future Learjet A5.